Okay, everyone, today we're going to be repairing this seat bolster. This is on a BMW, and this is actually their leatherette material. BMW calls it Sensatech. Uh, it's basically a vinyl that they uh, uh, stamp a grain into to make it look like leather. Um, so basically what I do is, to start the repair process is start heating the panel using a micro torch and a graining pad to press it all back down. Uh, what this does is it melts the, the hard edges back into the substrate. Um, so it kind of flattens everything back out and brings some integrity back to the area already. After that, I'm going to go ahead and clean the area using our tri-clean uh, cleaner on a scuff pad and just start uh, you know, rubbing it all in there to uh, pull out any dirt or anything else that's going to affect the repair. Um, it's really important to properly prep all these repairs. If it's not properly prepped, the repair will not last. So take your time and actually clean the whole thing uh, properly to make sure that you're not going to have any issues down the road. Um, after this, I'm going to be, uh, I actually pulled one of the edges up a little bit, so I'm going to heat that back up and press it back down. So again, I'm using a grain pad here, um, but if you don't have one, it's not a big deal. You actually just want that whole area to be nice and flat and pushed back down. So if you just have like a rubble or spatula or uh, 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 a spreading, uh, like a putty knife, um, that'll work as well. So, okay, after that, I'm gonna go ahead and use our repair compound. This compound is great. It works on both leathers and vinyls. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and fill, the, fill in that crack and then give a nice light coat uh, all around it. Just kind of uh, smooth out the repair compound over the damage, damaged area. Um, and it is actually a heat cure compound. So I'm applying uh, some heat using my micro torch to cure it out. It'll, it'll harden up and then I use my graining pad to press in a grain. And I do this just to achieve the best final product that I can get. Um, it's just allowing me to match the grain throughout the entire process. Um, and I'm going to continue to add in light coats of compound, building up that area, heat curing it, and pressing in the grain. So here I'm just checking the integrity of the repair. I wanted to make sure that that wasn't going to separate. Um, everything looked good, so now I'm just going to continue to add layers uh, and build up the, re the repair area until I'm happy with how it looks and uh, continue to stamp in the grain as well to make sure that it all blends together nicely. You can see right there how the uh, compound actually kind of turned color. Um, that was just, that's how you can tell that it's flashing and curing out. So um, always keep an eye open for that. You'll see the, the uh, shininess kind of change, it'll go dull and then it'll flash back to shiny again. Now I'm just using a little, uh, again, some of our TriClean prep cleaner and just wiping down the area. Okay, so now that that's all done, I'm, I have my color mixed up already and I just start airbrushing it on in light coats and using a hair dryer to uh, dry in between coats and really build up the, uh, the area. So that's one coat there. We'll do a few coats to make sure that it all blends in properly. And also, as you can see, I am actually uh, re-dyeing that entire bolster, not just where I did the repair. Uh, the reason for this is just uh, by painting o or re-dyeing over the entire thing, you're able to blend it out together really, really well so you don't see the repair. And the benefit of using a hair dryer on this is that it doesn't get super hot, um, so you don't have to worry about it bubbling the, the dye. So that's it guys, you can see the before and after there. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, we'll have more content coming your way soon. Uh, soon. Thanks guys, have a good one.